Hi everyone, Chris with Equiparts. Today I'm going to show you how to install an Oasis hands-free bottle filler onto an LK, EZ, or LZ series cooler. The reason why I'm going to show you this today is a lot of folks have shut their bubblers down on their drinking fountains and they've covered them with bags or tape or cups on the bubblers. Oasis came out with a brand new product that will actually replace the entire top, remove the bubbler, and replace with a hands-free bottle filling station. Make sure you have the following parts which have been included with your Oasis bottle filler. One 10 inch piece of quarter inch OD tubing, two drain pipes, one short, one long, two side mounting brackets, one left hand, one right hand, one center bracket, two 90 degree drain elbows, one quarter inch push fit elbow, one quarter inch push fit union, six number 10 hex screws, three number eight Torx screws, one number eight thread cutting hex screw, two quarter inch terminals, and one strain relief P-clip. You will also need the following tools which are not included to complete the installation. A 5 16 nut driver, a quarter inch nut driver, a nut driver with a T15 and T20 Torx bit. The first step is to remove the wrapper from the drinking fountain using your 5 16 nut driver to remove the four hex head screws on the bottom of the wrapper. Although our sample unit is not connected to any water or electricity, you will have to disconnect the water supply and unplug the unit from the wall. The next step you will need to remove the P-trap, which is located on the end of the waste drain. The next step, the nose will have to be removed from the drinking fountain by removing four T20 torque screws, two on each side. Now that the screws are removed from the side, you may remove the entire top from the drinking fountain. At this point, the wires for the cold control and the solenoid need to be removed as well. Cover the exposed terminals with the spade connectors provided. Locate the solenoid on your drinking fountain and disconnect the supply and the outlet. This can be done by depressing the collet on the fitting and pulling out. At this point, combine the two water lines with the provided quarter inch push fitting elbow. Now it's time for the installation. The first step is to install the bottle filler frame on top of the drinking fountain frame. First thing you want to do is make sure the top lip of the drinking fountain frame can be seen in these holes on the left and right portions of the frame. After assuring proper alignment, you will need to install drywall anchors or tap cons, depending on what type of installation this is. Oasis has provided several different slots here so that you can mount the frame to a stud or location of your choice. Next, you will install the brackets for the cabinetry. There'll be one installed in the front and one on each side and you can use the provided number 10 hex screws or the T20 Torx screws. Okay. 
And now it's time to install the drain piping. You will need the two straight pieces of inch and a quarter pipe. You will also need the two 90 degree elbows, which are also inch and a quarter in diameter. Now it's time to install one of the elbows onto the tailpiece located under the drip tray. Again, do not fully tighten until all the connections have been made. Insert the short pipe into the elbow. Attach the second elbow to the short pipe. Connect the long pipe to the elbow. The next connection will be made into your inch and a quarter P-trap. And now it's time to install the cabinet. I do not recommend you install any screws at this point. First, you will have to connect the water supply to the bottle filler. And now it's time to connect the water supply from the drinking fountain to the bottle filler. Insert the tubing from the drinking fountain into the fitting. Pull out to lock in. Next, insert the tubing from the bottle filler and again pull out to lock in. Once you've routed the power cord through the bottom of the bottle filler into the drinking fountain, you may install and tighten all the cabinet screws. Be sure, as mentioned earlier, to tighten the side bracket screws once all the holes have been properly aligned. Install the provided strain relief P-clip to the power cord roughly 36 inches from the grounded plug. This will prevent any strain onto the power cord. Use a number eight torque screw to attach the P-clip. Next, using a number eight thread cutting screw, install the ground wire to the front strut on the drinking fountain. And finally, it's time to install the top panel and the wrapper for the drinking fountain. So there you have it. Don't let your drinking fountains go to waste. Keep everyone safely hydrated by converting your existing drinking fountain to a hands-free bottle filler. If you'd like to place an order, if you have any questions, please give us a call here at Equiparts, and our drinking fountain experts will be happy to help you. I'm Chris. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.